Hello fellow fantasy sports fans, welcome to MFSN's Divisional Previews. We are here to do the AL Central, and I'm here as always with Casey, Vlad to the Bone Scheinvold, and Ross the Boss. Hey everybody, I'm Ross the Boss, and I want to talk baseball with you, cowboy. All right, now the joke that Ross often says is that I forget to introduce Casey, but usually who I forget to introduce is myself. I'm Dr. Dan Radner. I'm good to I'm good to have you here. What am I saying here? I'm glad to have you here. Right at Ross, we're going to start with you. No, you know what? It's AL Central. I should start. You should start. You are the I'm central expert. Go, go, go. Well, this is the first year of the Cleveland Guardians. It's going to take me a little while to get used to that name, but I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, I have winning this division pretty handily, the Chicago White Sox. They are loaded. They're loaded in every way. Their pitching is dominant. They, they have a great pitching coach, and we know this from interviewing Lucas Giolito his high school coach, now coaching him in the pros, they're going to run away with this division. The Twins, though, I think are going to surprise and come in second. Or maybe it's not a surprise, but they spent some money in the offseason in some surprising ways, and I do think it's going to pay off. My Guardians, they're going to limp through. They've got a lot going on right now. <laughs> they're trying to find their way. They've got a, a lineup that is uh, vastly diminished after Francisco Lindor left, even though he didn't have a great season last year with the Mets. We're just not quite the same as what we used to be. Bieber is more of a question mark than he was. We lost Clevenger a while ago. This this organization is a really quality organization that keeps cranking things out. I think we're going to be competitive, but I think we're going to miss the cut and we'll finish third. I have the Tigers finishing over the Royals, but this could flip-flop either way. These are two teams that are in kind of rebuilds. They have some, some, some young talent coming up, and that's going to be exciting to see. But it's the White Sox division, hands down. And I actually don't have anyone making the playoffs from this division other than the White Sox. All right, Ross, you're up. So I agree with you. The White Sox will win at least 100 games. Uh, they're the best team in the American League. They're stacked with pitching, bullpen, and their hitter. Their hitters are one of the best in the league. I mean, they're it's like murder's row. I mean, if they stay healthy, Casey, I think they'll win 100 games. That's coming from Ross to boss. I mean, so I'm not going to, I agree with you. I'm not going to ramble more about the White Sox, but yes, they are for real. Yes, they can win their division. Yes, they can win the American League. That's, that's how far I'll get with them. I'm taking the Tigers to be number two. They are a young, hungry team. Youth prevails. I like Casey Mize. I, I like their pitching staff. I think they did it the right way. I like them a lot. And, and it's all homegrown guys, a lot of them, through the to, through their minor league system. I like the Tigers, too. Three, I'll take Minnesota. I, I, I don't see any synergy quite yet because a lot of these guys are new. But I do like their team. I think Joe Ryan is one of the starters. He'll surprise a lot of people this year. Young, hot arm. And then, you know, sorry, Dan, Cleveland, four. And then Kansas City will be lucky to win 60 games. All That's right. Awesome, boss. And Casey, you're up. I, I agree with Ross on Detroit. I think they're going to surprise. I don't think they're going to come in second, but I think they them and Minnesota are going to be in a dogfight for third. Obvious, uh, second and third. There's obviously no debate about a healthy White Sox team being the class of that division with their pitching, their bullpen. The, the, the amount of right-handed power bats they have in that lineup is crazy. I like Detroit. I like, you know, they're bringing up their young guys. They signed Javi Baez to give them kind of a little bit of extra swag. Uh, that rotation with Scooble and Mize and Eduardo Rodriguez is is going to impress. I worry about their bullpen. That's why I'm going to give Minnesota the edge there in the end. I think Minnesota's done some nice things. Uh, maybe Gary Sanchez can find something that he couldn't find in New York. I actually think Drew Urshela is underrated. You mean like a single? What, he, what? You said he would find something he couldn't find in New York. I said, like, you mean like a single? Yeah, he okay. couldn't, okay. like, hitting the ball. Um yeah. Uh, you know, Sonny Gray going there. Uh, Ross knows him well from his Cincinnati Sonny days. He's Gray going to a much better healthy. ballpark. I'm worried about him, but keep going. If Byron Buxton stays healthy, I think he could do some special things, obviously. I like Kirilov. So there's a lot to like there. The Guardians, I'm a fan of the Guardians. I like the pitching more than you do. I think I think Savale. I like um, Plesak. I think Tristan McKenzie is going to surprise there uh, as a sleeper pick for for fantasy purposes. And, of course, Shane Bieber, if he's healthy, is one of the three best pitchers in the American League. So they could do some, but their offense is just, it's, it's you know. Well said. Well it, said. Oh, I can't even finish the sentence. And the Royals are perpetually rebuilding. In about eight years, they'll 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 have their, their kind of, their magical moment of two years runs of being relevant, and then they'll be gone. 
it's still amazing to me though that they actually won a World Series during one of those times. Like, oh, I know, crazy. but it was awesome. It was okay. Now wait, I do need to make a correction to myself because I forgot. I do have the Twins sneaking into the playoffs. Uh, they always surprise like that. They're just that kind of organization. I think it's going to happen, but we'll see. Okay, guys, that's our preview for the AL Central. If you haven't already, click subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, hit like if you like what you're hearing, and please put your comments below. We'll get back to you personally. We love having conversations with you. We want to hear what your thoughts are on this. Thank you for watching.